Coming down in three, two. Hey, I, I don't know what we're doing. Can we start over? What are we talking about? How to be single during the holidays? Single during the holidays. Right, keep all this in. This would be great. All right, okay. Say three, two, one. No, don't, don't, don't press stop record. You can have fun with this. All right. How to be single during the holidays? Okay. <laughs> three, two, one. We did that already. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to the dating den, and happy I swear holidays to you. Men. Yes. Single happy Hanukkah. Happy yes, happy Hanukkah. <laughs> single happy Hanukkah. My name is Christian Anderson. This is the wonderful, witty, and gorgeous Marty Batista. Thank you. And uh, it is the holidays coming upon us, so it's important for us to get out there and start uh, talking about this. I've been getting so this. many emails from you. I saw the email box. It's ridiculous. It's, it's she like, had to open up a like, second email. I box. did. She emailed, called her, and said, "We need fifty dollars from you a month just for this." How can I be single and happy during the holidays? Because when you and I were talking, it's mostly brought upon this sort of like sadness and pity party by mm -hmm. well-meaning friends and relatives. Right, because right? you're going to get the rain of uh, uh, of questions and inquisition because you're such a great catch. Why, why are you single? What's going on? Right. As I, and it translates to, why are you dysfunctional? What's, exactly. what's, what's wrong here? with you? So we want to give you some specific tips and strategies about how to make the most of being single on the holidays and actually possibly even have a really great experience. Sure. And since, uh, you know, Marnie is the coach extraordinaire, a lot of this is going to be involved with being just proactive and getting out there and yes. doing things and not just sitting and thinking or contemplating, but actually getting, getting out, out there. Getting out there and doing it. Yes. So, so, so one, number one thing yes, is I want all of you to take what I call the 20 interaction challenge. Mm. Okay. So what is that? Basically it means get out of your head and think about like meeting someone to kiss under the mistletoe mm -hmm. and move into a place of just interaction, eye contact with people, men, not even that you want to date, but just to practice getting out of your skin yes. and getting out of your head and just meet people. Yes, a little bit of insight. Sometimes us men really respond well to good 21st century man who's ready for a relationship, who's right. not a hunter, who's not just trying to take down women and right. conquer, but is actually open to the idea of a relationship, will usually show more respect for your space. So if you're trying to get that guy who is the good guy, right. how can you start to invite him in more by not maybe asking him out, but doing things like money's talking about? Talk about thing. like the lot. Like, do you like the pump? Do you get the the mocha mint frappuccino latte during the holidays? Right? Yeah. Or, you know, what's really good here? Or, you know, do you know how to tur cook a turkey? I Even mean, right? the eye contact and the right. smile. You do one of these one, two, and the smile <laughs> and then look away. That right there will work for most guys to be like, okay. she was just checking me out. So if you do 20 of them mm -hmm. without the goal of getting a date or a number, or getting asked out, just to start to create some feminine juju and mm -hmm. have fun, you will be shocked. Clients do this and they're like, it's totally made my day. It's actually mm -hmm. easy. Then you will be ready to go out there after the holidays and maybe have some good dating luck. Get the confidence, the momentum, yep. and see how easy it can happen. But you're taking the first step in initiating the conversation or initiating the eye contact right. or the smile and get that moving. 20 of them, okay. 20 of them, bingo. So here are some other things you can do. When you start to feel sad and blue, besides watching the dating dance, uh, hey. you can do two things. One is gratitude, mm -hmm. right? Huge. So what happens, Huge. what happens, it's an automatic, literally automatically changes your energy from mm -hmm. boohoo to woohoo um, when you're in gratitude. Talk about that. Um, it's, I just read an article, I think it was uh, Eckhart Tolle was talking about this. I love just that. how it tru truly changes your chemistry inside of your system and talking about how rabbis, yes. Yes. why they talk about praying before a meal because biochemically it actually settles the chemicals inside your stomach and lets you more available to really to receive the food I in a more healthy that. way. So gratitude is, is something that as human beings sometimes we tend not to practice. So just gratitude about what is in your life, whether That's just good. having your legs, about living, about having family yep. around ten you. Ten toes, ten fingers. And the hot, and the holidays are a great time for us. Sometimes we throw this away, we get caught up in all the insanity yeah. that's going on, as opposed to taking a step back, breathing, and just being so grateful for the things that you have in your life right now, which is family and friends, clothes on your back. But now, also from a proactive situation, how can you get out and start practicing that gratitude? What do we mean? What can you do on a daily basis? Okay, really so first thing is when you have the negative thought, replace it with a moment of gratitude, mm -hmm. and then go out and be in service. So whether you're working at the... <laughs> shine bright like a diamond, whether you're going out and being in service, um, like a soup kitchen, yeah. um, going and asking your neighbor, can I hang out with your kids so you can go holiday shopping? What are some... Sorry. <laughs> what can you do? This is what you can do, okay? This is actually, we're not losing the show. It's great right now. <laughs> 
The, uh, so uh, a, a, a quick story for Thanksgiving uh, around here. I they, think this meant that we were running out of time. Right time. It wasn't, it wasn't a call for Rihanna <laughs> or the Illuminati. <gasps> Why he didn't just say that? Uh, that the Santa Monica Civic Center had this thing where they invited right. like, thousands of people to come and to serve. And they had 2,000 volunteers and over like 10,000 guests to come to for homeless guests to be fed. Um, that's a huge example. However, I did go with friends. A right. whole bunch of friends came. All and single. All single. Yep. Felt great service, doing all the good stuff. And, and a byproduct was happened to meet three great women who, right from the jump, I know she's got good values. She's yep. into giving back. Wow, wife status goes way up. She's probably thinking the same thing. At least I know he's not a total d bag because he's actually serving the homeless. Right. So you don't go to meet the uh, to meet singles. Right. You're going to be of service, but when you go in those situations, yep. you're around a lot of other like-minded people who are doing good work. Yep. Um, and it, you really kind of off to a good good step right from the beginning, right? Absolutely, because when you're in service, your energy goes up. You're more positive. You're feeling good about yourself. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. ladies and ladies, and a few gentlemen. Some gentlemen, some gentlemen. I <laughs> some got gentlemen. you back. I know. So here's the thing. The holidays are not hard for singles. Stop telling yourself that story. Yes. Uh, it could absolutely. be better. I feel you. But ultimately, it's it's in your hands. Are you going to have a great end of your year or not so great? Make it awesome. Yes. Go out, have fun in the holidays, and be grateful for all the great family and friends. Don't make it this you know state of the singles union of how horrible <laughs> it is. Get ready for 2013. Break down these uh, uh, awesome points that Marnie gave for how you can start to create a uh, awesome new relationship-oriented life for you. Happy holidays! See ya! Bye! Bye.